What's up everybody, Neil here with Gadget Hacks, and today I'm going to show you some useful tips that should help improve your iPhone's email signature. Let's start with the basics and how to get rid of the sent from my iPhone signature if you haven't done so already. Also this would be good to show you the settings that we'll be using frequently in this tutorial. So you're in settings right now, you're just going to go to mail, contacts, calendar. All the way down here you should see signature. Now from right here, all you have to do is delete the text and change it to say whatever you want. If you just want to end your emails with your name, then go ahead and sign it with just your name, which is what I had going on for a good while. For the first tip, I'm going to show you how to add your handwritten signature to the end of your emails. All you need for this is an app that scans like Evernote's Scannable. There are other ones out there, but I'll just suggest Scannable because it made it the easiest and it also gave me the cleanest product once I actually scanned it. So let's go ahead and open that up. Now on a blank piece of paper or maybe you have an empty or blank business card you can write on, go ahead and just write your signature. Now some scanning apps do want to try and scan the entire page so to go against that I just draw a square around what I'm scanning. This will make it easier for the application. Let's go ahead and scan this now. There we go, it has it, scanned it. Now let's go ahead and edit it. See the reason I like this one is it makes everything just straight black and white and I can go in afterwards and crop it because you'll need to to get rid of the black borders. Also try keeping the signature aligned to the left that way it's aligned well with your emails as well. So let's go ahead and just make sure that we don't see any of the black borders and we're done. There you go, there's my signature. And now I'm just gonna go ahead, this is important, you're gonna pick your signature and you're just gonna go ahead and email it to yourself. This is also why I like this application, it just makes everything pretty simple. All right, so here's my signature. Now I'm gonna go ahead and copy it. It's important that you copy it by actually um, highlighting the, the image, not by, let's see if I can do this, there we go. You wanna highlight it this way and make sure you're not holding on it and just copying the image that way. So let's just go ahead and just highlight it. Make sure you have these little pop-ups as well. Copy it. And now we're gonna go back to that setting for the signature. And I'm just gonna take out my name and we're gonna paste the image. It may look weird when you paste it, don't mind that. So you can check it out with your emails. Go ahead and just start a new email and you should see it right down there at the bottom. You can write whatever you want and you'll have your handwritten signature right there. If you need it to look different, then just adjust it. Maybe write it a little bit smaller, bigger if you want to, crop it differently. It may take some trial and error, but as you can see, I did it on my first try and it's, it looks like a reasonable size. So definitely try this one out. This next tip, I'm gonna show you how to add your HTML signature, which looks a lot more professional with a little picture and you can even include some social media links and icons within there. Now, if you're starting fresh and you don't have a business that already has an HTML signature with your company's um, logo and your name and your details and maybe your social media links and icons in there as well, then you can do so really easily by going to HTML SIG. I'll suggest that website because they made it extremely simple and I did mine in within maybe two minutes. As you can see, the final product looks pretty cool. And once you're done, the web app will actually tell you to go ahead and just copy and paste it within the appropriate field in your Gmail or your Yahoo settings. But once you do do that, all you're gonna do is email yourself again so that way you get it on your iPhone. And from here, I'm gonna do what I did last time. I'm gonna go ahead and copy everything. I'll make sure you even get those icons at the bottom at the bottom if you did choose to use those. Now I'm just gonna copy, and as you can imagine, I'm just gonna go back to the settings, back to signature, and instead of this, I'm gonna go ahead and paste the HTML sig. I'll take a look at that. It may look jumbled when you compose an email or right now when you insert it, but on the desktop version, it looks pretty good. It doesn't look all jumbled up. So let's go ahead and try it out. So here's the email I just composed, and as you can see, my HTML signature is down below looking pretty fancy if I do say so myself. And yes, if you tap those icons for your social media links, it will 
send you to those sites with your account or your profile if you actually inserted the links properly. So as you can see, it's simple and it looks really cool. And like I said, the website HTML SIG, it honestly took me maybe two or three minutes to create this. So definitely try that out. If you don't want a fancy HTML signature and just want to include some links, let's go ahead and show you how to do that. As you can see, I inserted my social media link, so if anyone I email wants to follow me, they can do so very easily. But you can also include maybe your company website or your blog, pretty much whatever you want. To do this, all we're going to do is go to our computer or the desktop version of your email service. I'll be using Gmail, but I'm almost positive every email service has a similar preference or setting. Now within these settings, as you can see I'm in here, we're going to go all the way down to Signature. Now, like you would in an email, all you have to do is create links like you would in your email and you can change them to put whatever you want. I put my social media, you can make it say whatever you want here. All you have to do essentially is create it within the service on your desktop or the desktop version and then just go ahead, save the changes. I've already done so and then email yourself with this signature from this particular email service and receive it on your iPhone. So as you can see, I have it in my email. Now, I'm sure you already know this. We're just gonna go ahead and copy it all. Make sure you select it. And then you're gonna go back into the proper settings. And I'm sure you already know the process already. We're gonna get rid of this. And we're gonna go ahead, let's actually just select all, delete it that way. We're gonna go ahead and paste the new signature. So there you go, looks pretty clean. And then I'm just gonna get out of here and we'll check it out. So as you compose your new email, you'll see your signature down below and the links you included. It's pretty simple. All of these tips are pretty useful and again, definitely try them out. Even one of them will make your email signature look that much better or professional when you're sending them from your iPhone. For more information, check out the full guide over at gadgethacks.com. But don't forget to like, comment, and definitely subscribe for some more awesome, very useful gadget hack videos. Thanks guys.